Baby teeth can also be called primary teeth or deciduous teeth. My name is Whitney and I am a dental hygienist. If you're new here, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. Let's talk about how many baby teeth there are and when they will erupt and get replaced by adult teeth. Kids will have a set of 20 baby teeth. They start developing before the child is born and are usually all present before the child is about two years old. Once baby teeth start getting replaced by adult teeth, those 20 baby teeth will be changed out for a set of 32 permanent adult teeth. That's including all four wisdom teeth. So side note, if you get your wisdom teeth removed, technically you will only have 20 eight adult teeth. Now, everyone is different, but most baby teeth eruption charts will list the first baby teeth erupting as early as six months of age. But for some infants, it might be actually closer to 10 months, or it is even possible for a baby to be born with a tooth. So never get stressed if your kid is not exactly in line with the tooth eruption chart. By the way, I have a pretty cool tooth eruption chart myself on my website, teethalkgirl.com, which I will link the direct link to the chart in the bottom bar below. Also, quick tip, if you're a dental professional and you want to print it out and put it in your op, I think that's an awesome idea. Idea because I remember when I first started working, when a parent would ask me about when a specific tooth would fall out on their kid, I would get super nervous. And because I was, you know, trying to figure out the workflow of the day and I was stressed and had a lot of things on my mind, I was overwhelmed. Sometimes I couldn't like spit it out right away. I'd be like, oh, okay, they're age eight, they're, you know. So sometimes having a chart in your op really is helpful. Again, please remember that it is normal for some children to get their teeth sooner or later than their peers. Usually a window of one to two years for a tooth to come in is still completely normal. Even within the same family, you might see one kid get a tooth at age 10 and their sibling not get the same tooth until they're age 12. Everyone's different and also in dentistry it's kind of a rule of thumb that girls are usually ahead of boys but you never know. Now when do permanent adult teeth come in? Again it can vary but adult teeth will usually start to make an appearance by the time a kid is in kindergarten or first grade. Usually around age six is when they will lose their first baby tooth. So technically adult teeth begin erupting around age six and as late as age 21 for your wisdom teeth. For the most part though, the majority of adult tooth eruption, you know, not counting wisdom teeth, is going to happen between ages six and 12. So by the time a kid is going into middle school or junior high, they will have lost all of their baby teeth and have a majority of their adult teeth, which is why you tend to see more kids in braces in the middle school, junior high age group. So how are baby teeth different from adult teeth? There are a few distinguishing factors that set baby teeth and adult teeth apart. Baby teeth, in order to help proper adult tooth alignment, tend to be widely spaced to create room for their future adult tooth replacements. Baby teeth only include eight incisors, four canines, the eye teeth, the vampire fangs, whatever you want to call them, and eight molars. Whereas adult teeth include eight incisors again, four canines again, eight premolars, these are the ones that replace the baby molars and 12 molars. So what's kind of cool and easy to remember is all the front baby teeth replace themselves with the same type of adult tooth, but the baby molars get replaced by the adult premolars. Still getting replaced, just have a different name. And the ones that do not replace anything, they just grow in the back of your mouth, are the adult molars. You don't lose any baby teeth for the molars to come in, they just come in. So to recap, tooth eruption timelines differ from child to child, but the first tooth should be in by the time the child is about one years old. The last permanent teeth erupt sometime in middle school usually, usually around age 12, and that is excluding the wisdom teeth, which can erupt all the way up to age 21. Also, please remember that although baby teeth are not permanent, it is super important to keep them healthy for proper development of their adult teeth beneath them. I hope this video helped you. Please like and subscribe if it did. I'll link my other videos about baby teeth and kids dental appointments in the bottom bar below if you'd like to learn more. And I also have a bunch of great articles about baby teeth on my website, teethtalkgirl.com. Until next time, peace, love, and teeth.